Hello everyone, I've been very busy during the last couple of weeks and I've neglected taking care of myself or taking the time to be creative. I have not completed my sketchbook at the end of the year and I was running out of ideas of what to draw or paint. So for this week I decided to slow down and do things that would inspire me and give me new ideas to slowly fill up my sketchbook that I had started back in October. It is still quite cold here but I really enjoy going out and absorb the serene atmosphere when no one else is around and I'm all alone in nature. I started with this idea first because nature and landscapes are one of my favourite things to draw and I think one should slowly approach the process of getting back creative inspiration. For this first sketchbook spread I used gouache and coloured pencils because I like the way these two mediums behave. I tried to approach the painting process with as much spontaneity as possible which was rather difficult for my little perfectionist brain. At first I really didn't like the results of it. But I slowly added layer upon layer and added small details with my coloured pencils the drawings and the style started to make sense to me. So be patient with yourself and enjoy the process instead of focusing on a perfect outcome.
Hi, hello everyone, happy Tuesday. So today I do not have much time to draw, but I still want to use the time that I have and I thought why not get some inspiration today from my environment, like the apartment, my room, all the things that we have, you know, the teapots and mugs and little knickknacks and decorations with little patterns and different colour schemes and all of these things. I think we can get some inspiration from that. So without further ado, let's just get started. I started challenging myself by drawing something else than flowers for change, even if there were flowers patterns on the teapot. Drawing these everyday objects reminded me that you don't have to go outside or on a crazy adventure to get inspiration, because it is everywhere if you open your eyes to your immediate surroundings. Interesting ornaments, patterns and colour palettes. So take a look around and draw the first thing that catches your eye. On Wednesday I decided to head out again and take a walk in a part of the city I normally never go to, which is very refreshing. I was immediately more awake and present to my environment, observing the small architectural details and appreciating the first signs of spring. It can be very easy to fall into the trap of blindly walking through our neighbourhoods and not seeing the beauty that surrounds us. But maybe next time you go out, take a slightly different path and take a few pictures of things that you find interesting so that you can go back to them when you have time to draw.
When I was in high school, we had to create our own art project on the topic of ornaments, and now I'm much more aware of all of the patterns that surround us, be it on houses or clothes and other everyday objects. When you look close enough, you will find they are everywhere. I think we can all agree that we spend way too much time on our phones and other devices, but instead of using them to mindlessly scroll through social media, we could use them as an archive for reference photos to use whenever we run out of ideas of what to draw. Collect your favourite pictures from your holidays, walks in nature and everything else that inspires you in a separate folder, so next time you check your phone, you can confidently tap on your photos app instead of Instagram. This is the third sketch for Expect this week that I unintentionally did in a monochromatic colour scheme. Sometimes things just turn out a certain way without us even intending to. Not everything needs to be carefully planned. So try to let your intuition guide you and see what will come out of it. There was a time during my teens when I used to mostly copy other artists and illustrators' work to practice my drawing skills and ever since I was a child I loved spending time in museums, wandering into huge halls or small rooms, looking at what artists have created throughout the centuries. Unfortunately, museums and exhibitions are not always easy to access, especially when you live in a rather small town or rural area, but there are always books and of course the internet to help us out. For the last drawing of this week, I decided to challenge myself by choosing to copy Le Chignon, which simply means bun, by Eva Gonzalez, who was a French Impressionist painter. 
Impressionism is definitely one of my favourite art movements, and this drawing was particularly challenging for me as I usually never draw portraits or people in general. It was challenging but rewarding at the same time to see that I managed to capture the essential spirit of the painting, even if I think that another medium would have probably worked better in this case. I hope you enjoyed this video and could get some inspiration and ideas to get back to drawing and painting and fill your own sketchbook one page at a time. See you soon and take care of yourselves. Bye!